Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to open multiple browsers in a same instant. <clears throat> okay, you created one instant for Chromium and that Chromium browser you have to open for multiple browser context. How we can able to do it? See, basically why we require this multiple browsers opening and doing means we can able to like imagine something like, okay, now you have one content and you have to run into one browser. Okay, once execution is completed for that particular one and you have to open this another one to complete for the another action. Okay, the same time. Same time we have to do for the similar format. Once it is done here, I need to open, reopen one more browser and then that browser need to execute for another scenario. The same content will be like this, right? <clears throat> but for this, we have to do for two browsers instance, we need to do it and we need to implement for that. And if you want to create one script, in a one script, you are going to create for first browser and also the second browser. This is we are going to use from our play way to execute our two things. <clears throat> same place and the same method, we are going to create for two different kind of uh, browser navigations and we can able to reopen a new one and we can able to implement our, <clears throat> our uh, test cases. How we can able to do it means we can able to <clears throat> Sorry, there are a set of uh, things we can able to do it, okay? And if you see in my previous video, this is the one we done, right? Like the starting time we done for this particular one to opening and doing our test execution, right? In the similar format also, we can able to do it, our uh, multiple browser execution purpose. <laughs> Okay, here I'm going to create a simple uh, script. Okay, just so I can able to use for <clears throat> from playwit and sync APIs I'm going to using because I'm going to use for our Python scripting. Okay, and sync playwit and playwit is there and we can able to import this too. And I can able to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> any one code which is related to this particular scripting. Okay, I'm going to take this particular script. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I have some throat infection due to that it is not able to that much uh, thing and I'm going to use it and a previous script I created this one okay and please go through that how we can able to create the scripting and recording and all okay now I created for this okay now what exactly this can do that means you can able to see dev run play with and we created the object of play with okay then we are going to creating the browser instant in the browser instant, you can able to see this particular play with Chromium launching. This particular head will give you for new browser launching. Okay, new Chromium browser. And here what will happen? The content, the new content which you are going to create for the browser, that it will create for new content. And it will create for that content having a new page. Content having new page means if you are opening for Chrome browser like this, First one says that we are going to opening for the Chromium. Then it will open the page and it will open the that particular context page. Okay, that is a happen. Okay, in the page what we are going to do and we are going to launch for our Google Chrome and then we are going to search for our locator and then we are going to filling our scripting here. Okay, this is the one we are going to do. But how we can able to do for second uh, second one purpose. Okay, how we can able to do it for second. The same thing we can able to reuse one more time, but we have to do it for proper way. Otherwise it will fail, okay? And here I can do it again one more time. This all the steps again, I'm going to repeating one more time. 
okay in this what will happen just i'm going to change you here is the browser one okay and i'm going to do for another one you'll see first to one to run okay whether it will uh, work because i ran into the previous video uh, which i prepared the last time in the terminal i'm going to do it okay now i'm going to use for python because this is a python uh, thing file play with underscore test underscore browser dot py we can see now it is not running sorry we are not called this particular uh, file that's why it is not able to call it actually because we need to call the run class also right if you are using python we have to create with the sync sync play weight as a play weight as a play weight and we can able to run with the play weight okay now we can able to run our class now you can see now in the browser it's open and it is execution and it went very quick right and if you want to see i'm going to use for time dot sleep with the five seconds i'm going to provide okay because we need to wait for five seconds to see whether it is enter or not in the text so now it is entering for text okay there is no issue now we want to re-execute for the same steps with the new browser then i am going to use it up to here and i am going to wait for again five seconds in this again what i can do right just i'm going to create for browser instant one and again content instant one and page instant one and content again here because we need to creating everything is a new only okay now here and here we have to change all the places okay now we done for all the time again i'm we need to provide for five seconds time stamp because we need to wait and see and whether it is uh, opening for new browser and doing for the same action which it is done for first browser okay the simplest format i'm going to explain i'm not going to take for in-depth information like if you go in-depth information you will get some uh, more confusion due to that i'm not going to uh, explain in that much of in-depth okay i'm just i'm going to give the overview about it you can able to see the two browsers it is open and two browsers once it is completed it close for the two browser itself okay even we can able to close our related browser also one by one first which browser you want to close that you can able to define it if you want to close first browser then you can able to use it here here browser dot close is there okay if you want you you want to close this one you can able to close it okay whether it will work or not means it will work it and here you are not able to see the pass and because we are not running the pi test phase that's why you can see it is very quickly it is closed that one now it is opening second one because the browser one it is closing very quick okay this is one simplest format of uh, uh, execution okay
we when you can able to your context also you can able to close it okay using the context one uh, context dot close and you can able to use the context dot close is there you can able to close the context and also you have to close for browser dot close also these two if you are using after five seconds it will automatically it will close for each one of browser one by one okay there's a uh, one having for multiple browser context for working and creating for multiple browser context context is nothing but opening for multiple browsers in term of private uh, the way they are calling as a multi browsers context okay because of their context based upon the context only they are running for multiple browser handling okay this is all about for multiple browser i hope you understand this one please like me do please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you